games, and it also changes the Pokemon you can encounter depending on the weather conditions and where you go and the time of day. あとその街と街をつないでいるので、まあ、冒険中にも何回もここに訪れることになりますあとちょっと見ていただいて分かる通りカメラをこう自由に動かすことができるのでこれによってまあ落ちているアイテムであったり空を飛んでいるポケモンを探すこともできます。Uh, the wild area multiple times, and as you can see on screen here,、uh, you can control the camera freely in this area to better find hidden items that are lying about and also、uh, see the Pokemon that are flying above in the sky. Well, yes, and it looks like we are seeing Pokemon out in the field here, correct?、Mm-hmm. そうですね、もうフィールドあのポケモンがちょっとうろうろしているような感じには見えるんですけれども、はい、そうですねああいったその生き生きとこう動いているそのシンボルエンカウントって呼んでいる、まあえー、とポケモンとのエンカウントとあと先ほどちょっと出ましたけどちょっとびっくりマークが出てくるのがあるんですけどもあれはこうまたシンボルポケモンではあのいないこう新しいポケモンが出るかもしれないというそのランダムのエンカウントのドキドキ感。どちらもその遊べるようになってます。So yeah, we have the Pokemon wandering about the field. We call them kind of symbol encounters, where you can see the Pokemon before you actually encounter it. But at the same time, you actually just saw an exclamation mark pop up in the tall grass there, and that kind of、uh, symbolifies that it's a,、uh, a random encounter. So you don't know which Pokemon you're going to encounter. We wanted to have a mixture of both types of encounters in these games to、uh, also let play- players enjoy that excitement of you know not knowing what they're going to encounter. Yeah, that's great. It looks like、uh, we've got a lot of different types of Pokemon that appear out here in the wild area as well. So, the wild area, no, come feel the journey, go talk to you on the shoe, you know, Pokemon got the video, you know, yes, yeah, so this, me, it all, you must have to battle them, you know, it's a car to be, it all, on Kaiwa, Tansay no battle, you know, you know, not the must, eh, on Kai no Tansay no battle, eh, eh, ma, just sign, Tadakatari, Bolo Nagatari, it's come out of what they can. Yeah, there's, de- there's definitely a lot of Pokemon to encounter. And of course, as you can see here, the battle system, you know, it's the t- traditional turn based、uh, battle where you choose moves to、uh, defeat the wild Pokemon before you can catch it. Or battle against it before you catch it. Pokemon go to me, to Toxay ga atari, to Dogo mo tasser koto mo dekimasu no de, kanari oku fukai battle to no mo taiten dekiri yoni nakimasu. And you'll find that their you know, Pokemon abilities are back as well as the ability to give them items to hold. So there's definitely a lot of depth to the battle system. Yeah, certainly I think fans are going to look forward to, to the depth within that battle system, and they'll be able to enjoy that both within the game as well as in their one on one battles as well. So, I mean, so you know, Fukai battle system, I mean, I'm sure you're going to be able to do it. So, if you have a Pokemon to the battle, you can see that the player is going to be able to do it. So, if you have a Pokemon to the battle, you can see that the player is going to be able to do it. So, if you have a Pokemon to the battle, you can see that the player is going to be able to do it. So, if you have a Pokemon to the battle, you can see that Link battles with other players, and of course, I think there's a lot of fans out there that are looking forward to kind of this return of the really, you know, in depth or the deep battle system that we have to, you know, really compete with each other. あとはですね、今雨降ってますけども、あの雨降ってるんで、その水タイプのポケモンが出てます。で、場所によってはその天候が変わったりすることもあって、えっ、ー、と、それで雪が降れば。Yeah, you can see it's actually raining right now、uh, where we're wandering about. And depending on the weather condition, the kind of certain types of Pokemon will appear more frequently. Right now, you'll, we'll see more water type Pokemon. And maybe if it was snowing, you would see more ice type Pokemon, for example. Every day, the wild area is changing. So, every day, there are new experiences. So, every day, there are new experiences. And the climate is pretty dynamic. So, if you come back a different day, the weather may be completely different. So, we really think that players will have a lot of fun coming back multiple times and seeing the different Pokemon that appear depending on the weather conditions. So, we were talking about、uh, the different encounters, but it looks like Terry can also whistle to attract Pokemon and different. Pokemon have different reactions to when he does that. My encounter system and the Hanashi was like, I'm going to go to the Kuchi Bue. So, I'm going to go to the Kuchi Bue. ポケモンたちがしていると思うんですけど、はい、もうちょっと教えてもらえますでしょうか。そうですね。そのポケモンは種類によって、まあ近づい、えっ、ー、と、まあプレイヤーを見ると近づいてきたり、逆にこう逃げていったりするポケモンもいます。で、なかなかこう空を飛んでいるポケモンとかが捕まえづらかったりするんですけど、口笛を吹くことで、まあこちらにこうおびき寄せたりとかですね、して。まあ、いろんなポケモンと出会うことができるようになってます。Yeah, the whistle is kind of a key to encountering certain types of Pokemon. For example, if they're flying high above, you can't really, you know, encounter them very easily. So you have to attract their attention by whistling at them. 
But at the same time, you, like you said, they're kind of different Pokemon will react differently. Some might see you whistle and run away, for example, or others may be curious about you and approach you. Terry's doing a great job of battling and capturing Pokemon here in the wild area. <laughs> Just got my Metapod. Oh, it's oh, it's <laughs> Expanding the party. That's right. <laughs> So I think for today's Treehouse Live segment, we're going to explore this part of the wild area as we kind of head closer to one of the towns in the game. Um, and that should give us a good sense of this, this one particular part of the wild area. But clearly, there's a, a lot more to the wild area than even what we're showing here today. え、ま、yeah, this is just a small portion of the wild area. If you, I mean, if you wanted to walk really far out there, there's lots of stuff to discover, and it's you know it's much wider. There's a lot of available to discover. For example, much stronger Pokemon that you may want to go try and seek out. あ、ポケモンによっては、え、プレイヤーを見つけると逃げてしまうポケモンもいますので、こう、しゃがみながらこう近づくと気づかれずにエンカウントすることもできます。Yeah, we were actually just uh I think Terry was showing the crouching down uh, motion where you can kind of get into the tall grass and quietly approach some of the more perhaps timid Pokémon. Otherwise, they might run away from you. We had talked about how when the weather changes, that specific Pokemon like appear more often. So like right now, it's hailing. So there's a different variety. Yeah, since it's snowing right now, we might see a more, uh, no, more uh, ice type Pokemon appearing in the field. And here we have Terry taunting the <laughs> 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 Always picking my fights. <laughs> now, of course, you can uh, oh. you can access the wild area from very early in the right. game. But as we see here, there are some rather strong Pokemon out there. ま、結構あの序盤から湧いてるエリアに行けるようになると思うんですけども、結構じゃあ、ま、ここではレベル高いポケモンも出現するということですね。そうですね。ちょっと奥に行けばレベルの高いポケモンも出て、今かなりこう
And of course,、uh, activities to enjoy like fishing. Mato, Tsurimo, Ima, Pokemon, so that's it. So, this is it. So, Tsurimo, it's a wild area. I don't know what I'm going to do, but it's a lot of fun. Yeah, there's definitely a lot to do in the wild area, and as you mentioned,、uh, fishing is, is one of them. I don't know what I'm going to do, but it's a lot of fun. I don't know what I'm going to do, but it's a lot of fun. A lot of different ways to encounter the variety of Pokemon in the area. Now, one other thing that we've noticed here on the left side is that we're seeing some icons、uh, pop up on the left side of the screen. I'm going to go to the right side of the screen. I'm going to go to the right side of the screen. So, the white is going to be on the right side of the screen. So, the white is going to be on the right side of the screen. So, the white is going to be on the right side of the screen. So, the white is going to be on the right side of the screen. So, the white is going to be on the right side of the screen. So, the white is going to be on the right side of the screen. Y com in the games, and you can actually have these、uh, what we're calling stamps appear to kind of show what、uh, other players are up to. So, this is actually、uh, Masuda san playing right next to us.、Uh, he's playing the Gloria character there, but this, <laughs> this,、uh, this stamp is signifying that he wants to trade with us. ここまあまあ so、you can use <laughs> そういった、えー、とプレイヤーが、えー、と出会う場所でもありますね。そういった場所でもありますね。そういった場所でもありますね。そういった場所でもありますね。そういった場所でもありますね。そういった場所でもありますね。そういった場所でもありますね。そういった場所でもありますね。そういった場所でもありますね。そういった場所でもありますね。そういった場所でもありますね。そういった場所でもあります世界中のプレイヤーがこのワイルドエリアで遊ぶ一緒に遊ぶことができます。And this works either via local wireless with other players that are nearby playing at the same time. You can also connect with,、uh, to the internet to kind of play with、uh, other players from around the world. That's right. And it looks like now Terry has、uh, gotten to the town that we were heading towards. Right. But there's some lights in the background, the, these red pillar of the lights.、Um, could you guys explain what? These are. So, those are actually what、uh, are called Pokemon dens, and there's a red light emitting from them when there is a Dynamax Pokemon inside. So, it, the red light kind of represents the energy of the Dynamax phenomenon. And what that means for the player is that you can go there and encounter that Dynamax Pokemon in a Max Raid battle. Well, perhaps we should、uh, show what the Max Raid battle is like. そうですね、じゃあ早速じゃあマックスレイドバトルも、えー、そうですねちょっとやってみたいと思いますはい。Alright, so as we're prepping up to do said Max Raid battle,、uh, Mr. Mori, Mr. Masuda, could you explain a little bit more to the people watching at home about what the Dynamax feature is? ちょっとダイナマックスについてもう少し詳しく教えてもらっていいですかそうですね、あのー、これまでですね、えー、とメガシンカーとか Z 技っていう要素があったんですけども、あのー、今作、ポケモンがパワーアップする新要素として入ったのがこのダイマックスです。そう、ダイナマックスは、実は、ニューウェイトパワーアップポケモンのゲームを、実は、what we've seen previously, for example, メガエボリューション and Z moves。これ、そうですね。えっと、そうですね、えっと、ダイマックスレイドバトルなんですけれども、えの好きな、えー、とポケモンを一匹選んで戦うことができます。で、今回はあのボックスからも一匹選べるので、そこから一匹選んで、ルカリをちょっと選んで戦ってみようと思います。And each player participating in the battle can choose one Pokemon、uh, from either their party or from the box. So it's important to choose one of your you know, stronger Pokemon since you,、uh, before you go into the max raid battle. でも今回1匹なんで途中で交換はできないのでこの1匹大切に戦ってください。And you only get to choose one and you can't change during the battle, so you've got to make sure it's a good choice. So strategy and communication is incredibly key here. そういうことはもうあのプレイヤー同士のコミュニケーションというのは非常に大切になってくるんですよね。はい、あの
4人で戦うのでその役割分担と連携がすごい大事になってます。Yeah, cooperation between the players and also really determining the roles is going to be very important to defeating the opponent. まあ例えばえっとタイプ相性の強いまあ良い技を持っているポケモンが中心となって攻撃してで戦況に合わせて補助技とかまあ回復技で味方をサポートするっていうのがすごい大事だと思います。So yeah, once you get into the battle, identifying maybe which of the four Pokémon will have the best type advantage to be the main attacker, and also like who can. Be the best kind of supporter or the Pokemon that will use healing moves to support the team. Yes,、yeah, so I'm, I'm playing as Togekiss, so、uh, for my, my first move, I've used,、uh, this I've used Reflect to try to protect all of us a bit. So, I'm using Togekiss to protect all of us a bit. So, I'm using Togekiss to protect all of us a bit. So, I'm using Togekiss to protect all of us a bit. So, I'm using Togekiss to protect all of us a bit. So, I'm using Togekiss to protect all of us a bit. So, I'm using Togekiss to protect all of us a bit. So, I'm using Togekiss to protect all of us a bit. So, I'm using Togekiss to protect all of us a bit. So, I'm using Togekiss to protect all of us a bit. ポケモンは、えーとまあ、状況に合わせてやっぱり2回攻撃してきたりとかですねしますので、まあ、油断しないように戦ってほしいなと思います。そうですね。When you're going up against a Dynamax Pokemon, sometimes they will take multiple moves, and so you really kind of can't let your guard down. じゃあ、ジムはあのトムでウィンディ使ってるけど、ちょっとでかくなっていいですか ?So I'm,、uh, I'm, oh, I'm actually the Tom character here playing Arcanine. Is it okay if I use Dynamax? Absolutely. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I think we need all the help we can get. Yes. <laughs> ぜひお願いします。<laughs> ダイマックスなんですけども、えー、と各ターン、えー、とプレイヤーは1回しか、まあえー、とできないんですねでプレイヤー側が順番にダイマックス権利が回ってきますでバトル中にどのプレイヤーか、えー、と1人しか、まあ、1回しかダイマックスできないのでこのダイマックスタイミングも非常に重要となっています。The ability to use Dynamax that actually rotates between the players each turn, but your team can only use Dynamax once throughout the entire battle, so it's important to kind of identify what the exact right timing is to be able to、uh, you know, exploit the, the, its power. So, yeah, obviously, a lot of strategy goes into these Dynamax raid battles. なりましたね、yeah, and you can see that there are once you Dynamax, the Pokemon's moves will all turn into Max moves, which are much more powerful. And they also have these added effects, like you saw the、uh, Drought was just triggered based off Arcanine's attack. Yeah, and they look really cool too. Yeah, yeah. Really cool. yeah. yeah definitely,、uh, I think there's, it's very impressive. And as we can see,、uh, Steelix just put up a barrier around him. 今ちょっとなんかバリアを張ったみたいな感じになってるんですけどす、ね、えっと今日照りになったのでソーラービームが一旦で出せましたねでこれもまたえっと連携のすごいいい連携だと思いますねそうですねバリアの方はそうですね,ねでバリアなんですけどもえっと今、まあ、不思議なバリアというものがダイマックスに貼られてましてで今ヒットポイントがこう減ってくると,、えー、とそういうバリアが登場します、so、yeah, with the barrier,、um... What happens is once his HP is reduced, it'll put up this kind of barrier that you have to take down before it will actually start taking lots of damage again. So, in this case, the gauge is a little bit of a gauge, but the damage is a little bit of a gauge. So, the damage is a little bit of a gauge, but the damage is a little bit of a gauge. So, the damage is a little bit of a gauge. この時はもうどんなポケモンでも攻撃してこのバリアを壊していった方がいいですね。But you can see that there's a, a couple of different like、uh, parts to the gauge, and each time you hit it with a damaging attack, at least one of those will be reduced. So even if your Pokemon isn't particularly powerful in the attack department, it can still reduce the gauge by just using a damaging attack. ダイマックス技だと2 2ゲージ減らすことができますね。うん Well, yes, as you can see, my,、uh, my Togekiss used Dazzling Gleam, which is not particularly effective,、mm -hmm. but was still good enough to, to break that barrier down. So, now, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do that. So, I'm going to be able to do that. So, I'm going to be able to do that. So, I'm going to be able to do that. So, I'm going to be able to do that. So, it's a good opportunity for even the weaker Pokemon to、uh, you know, participate and really contribute to the fight. And Dynamax moves, if you use it against it, it'll actually take down two gauges, two, two slots of the gauge. まあ、ゲージを壊したんで、あとはもう、本当に倒すだけです、ね。そうや、you guys have broken down the barrier, so now you just need to defeat the Pokemon。痛い痛い痛い
<laughs> or very close. But one thing that we haven't talked about is that storm that's kind of lurking around Steelix. Could you talk a little bit about that? I think it's a little bit of 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 Looks like you're able to, you're probably going to be able to defeat this one without too much trouble. Oh, oh. maybe. I can focus your shoot you, Sasha Tari. Follow you, make some of the game. the center of attention. Okay. Oh, what are they? Trying to be the team. Oh, there it is. Oh, Mazo san, Tawashimashi. Nicely done. Oh, Tawashimashi. And we didn't uh, have a single Pokemon faint. That was uh, that was actually pretty good. <laughs> so now all of us have a chance to actually catch this Steelix. And so by catching it, can we add them to our party? For the short ああ、そうですね。なんでこのまあポケモンを倒した倒すとまあゲットするチャンスが生まれます。で、捕まえるとまあポケモンをそのまま手持ちにすることができたり、まあ結構実はいいアイテムも手に入ることもできる。